Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add domain derived table in the newly designed domain designer of our Jasper Report Server 7.2 release. Suppose we already have a attack view to list organization user and role information from the Jasper Report Server repository profile database. And the organization, we can see users. Each user it has different roles. For instance, super user has two roles. Suppose we have a new requirement to display number of roles for a user. So we need to do a count based on the use count on the row based on the user. So what I'm going to show you is to use a SQL query to carry out the calculation. So this is the query. Select row to the row count based on the joins and the group by this row. Okay. So I'm going to copy this one and uh, Let's do a, we need to add this function to the domain through derived table. And see, this is a newly designed domain designer interface. To add a derived table, you need to go to the joins. Under the joins, you will see a function, uh, no, yeah, sorry, create derived table. We can copy paste, is equal, make sure the core is fine. So this table, I will call it as row count table. Create this table, now we have a row count table. Now we need to join this table against our set. So I'm going to drag the ID from this derived table to join the base table from the user. So make sure when you draw this one into the joins, don't drop this one outside. Otherwise you'll create another set which is not something we would like to do. You, are, you, you create an island, you will not see all the other information. So let's delete it. Make sure you drop it inside here, anywhere. Okay, now you have a row ID against the inner joint of your user ID. So now our derived table is ready to be used through this set. And also we want to make sure we add the count to the display. Therefore, it can be used by the ad hoc view. So make sure the display here. Oops, okay. No count. All right. So now we can save it. You notice the user interface, now you don't have to go through save and submit two steps. You can just simply save the domain here. All right, good. Very neat for this new user interface. Now let's go back to our ITAP view. Also notice, now we have this new function to add additional fields from a modified domain without having to recreate your ITAL view as was previously your user has to do, which is pretty nice. You can see the row count is already there. All right. So it's automatically picked up. Okay. So now we can use this row count. All right. From the measure, and we can put row count here. Well, as you can see, the count is correct. For super user, you have two rows, admin row, and uh, another one has three rows, and so on and so forth. 
Let me okay, get rid of this one to have this one. So guitar requirement. So that's all I need to demonstrate this new domain designer feature and the new ad hoc feature in the just released 7.2 version of our product. I suggest our user to review the user guide that's coming with the deployment when you download and deploy just report server sample to under box subdirectory, you can see a user guide. And user should, I highly suggest user to read this guide, especially on chapter, actually section 7.4, to see how this new feature works in the new defined user interface to get our product either download and then you can download product and then from here do a search on jasper it released the enterprise or professional whatever 7.2 release you need to download make sure that you select whatever environment windows or whatever make sure you check mark this and then the application is ready for you to select and download. So that's all I have to show you in this demo. And uh, hopefully you can download this 7.2 version of our product, give and try, and enjoy this new feature. Thank you.